it comes to the La Saga, it can get a little bit of... La Saga? Chimia. Parmigiano Reggiano. Bravo. Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> Bravo. Reheat it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Don't you love pasta sauce that tastes identical to ketchup? Mm. Uh, that's that's the right sound. Mm -hmm. oh, I love you, Joshua. Or until slightly thickened. Season. You guys, I have to say, this sauce looks fantastic. Well done, Joshua. Well done for not watching Gordon Ramsay Ragu. Well done. Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where we react to good, bad, and funny Italian video recipes. Today we are reacting to one of my favorite channels, Joshua Westman. He made a one dollar lasagna. How can you make a one dollar lasagna? What's inside? Did you make it out of paper? Let's find out what Joshua made. He's always full of surprises and I hope I get surprised. 1.3 million people watch this video. Does it deserve this many videos or does it deserve more? Let's find out. So it's a nice day, you're going out with your family to eat at a nice Italian restaurant. And you just... What's the mustache? Huh? Why have you got a mustache? <laughs> you decide you're gonna order lasagna and it's this much? 17, wow, here in Australia we'll pay $35, Australian dollars, for a slice of lasagna, which is not even done the right way. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. When you could be making it simply for this price per person, right? How can you make a lasagna for $1 per person? Really? Oh. I'm intrigued. I mean, this is the lasagna he's making. Wow, for one dollar per person, is he making this? That looks sensational. That really looks good, but does it really cost you one dollar per person? When it comes to the La Saga, you can get a little bit of- La Saga? What did he say? Oh. <laughs> La Saga! Is it really cheaper to make it from scratch? Does it taste better from scratch? Yes. I fear for what the answer could be. Let's just rip the band-aid off and do this. In order to make those, you'll need a large bowl, start off with two cups or 300 grams of all-purpose flour, create a See, it's cheap. A nice little well in that flour. Careful, don't fall in, buddy. Then to that, you're gonna add three egg yolks and two whole eggs. Start beating those eggs together. Really? Why have you done that? Normally, I always say, like my nonna says, one egg, 100 grams of flour. So if you have five people, you need five eggs, 500 grams of flour. That's, the, the, that's how you make it. But let's see, I think your pasta is coming very darker, a lot darker because of the yolk. So let's see. Together with a fork while slowly incorporating the flour until you get a shaggy dough. Then pour that out onto the counter and begin kneading by hand. If the dough isn't picking up much more flour and it's just kind of going all over the place, then discard the excess drop. I was going to say, you did use lots of flour, my friend. I don't know who gave you the recipe for the pasta, but next time, Come to Vincenzo's plate if you want to learn how to make pasta, like my nonna. Now from those sheets, measure them up to match the length of a 9x13 pan. Cut those segments in half or thirds depending on their width lengthwise to get yourself a total of about 10 to 12 sheets. That's really it, they're ready to boil. So with all that being said, the pricing of the homemade pasta comes out to this right here. Now Beautiful, bellissimo, bellissimo. Let's boil one of these along with the store-bought version and decide if this is the cheapest and best tasting option or not. We did the math. It turns out that this goes for this price right here. And this is sort of like in the $1.50, $2 range. So it's almost identical, give or take. So then it comes down to the quality of flavor. Okay, store-bought, it's got good chew, and it tastes like pasta. Mm. People always say, oh, there's no difference between store-bought and fresh pasta. Wrong! Of course you're wrong. Look how beautiful the fresh pasta is. Of course, there's more work there, but you can't beat the flavor of homemade. Homemade, it's best. Come on, tell me that, please, Joshua. Wrong! You're all lying to yourselves if you keep saying that. I'm sick of hearing it. There is a difference, but there's a caveat. The caveat is this. This ain't cheap. And neither is this. You don't have to use that, my friend. You can just buy a pasta machine. And let me tell you, you don't have to spend hundred dollars. You can buy a cheap twenty dollar pasta machine. Maybe it won't last long. Yeah, but if you make pasta twice or three times a year, that cheap pasta machine does the job. But let me tell you, three times a year, you're gonna have a marvelous experience. The point is that you're gonna have to spend extra money in order to even make it yourself. You could roll it with a rolling pin, but it's just, it's not the same. I'll I agree, not the same. Rolling pin, it's hard, very difficult, lots of work. No, you, you do need a pasta machine. Things considered flavor, time, effort, money spent, this is always gonna be your cheapest option. This is the best flavor. Flavor or cheaper option? Really? What do you want? Lasagna? You don't have lasagna every day. When you have it, have it right. 
Okay, so this guy's funny. Let's talk schwoss. Remember, schwoss is the boss of flavor. In he is the boss of flavor. Lasagna. So take good care of it. Get yourself a pot or Dutch oven. That's it. Well, let's see how he makes the sauce. I'm really intrigued. If he makes the sauce like. Gordon Ramsay. No, 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 no. And he puts vinegar. No, 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 no. I'm gonna stop this video and I won't watch this guy ever again. These five quarts and heat up about two tablespoons or 30 grams of vegetable oil over medium high heat. Then once he wants to save money, he's using vegetable oil. Me, I always use extra virgin. That's hot, hot, stupid donkey. Add in one pound or 450 grams. What is this of frito, my friend? What is this of frito? Carrots, onion, and celery. Where is that? Grams of ground beef. Three quarters of a pound or 340 grams of ground pork. Prep. I like the, the two type of meats that he makes. Pork is so important for a lot for a ragu. Very important. And let that sear for three minutes. Flip and sear on the other side for about two to three more minutes. Then using a potato masher, mash all of that until it's very fine. Transfer. Beautiful, great technique. Put that to a separate container, add a touch more oil if needed. Then add five cloves of garlic, thinly sliced, reduce the heat to medium, and let that cook, stirring occasionally until the garlic. Do you know that in Italy, especially in Bologna, and everywhere in Italy, they never put garlic in a lasagna. I don't know why people are obsessed with garlic. You think Italian food is always garlic. No, in specific recipes, yes. In this case, you need the soffritto, onion, carrot, and celery. The garlic can be an extra thing, but if you don't add the soffritto, they just can't make it. Garlic begins to toast and turn a golden brown. Then add one yellow onion, finely diced, finally. and season the taste with salt. Finally, it's putting the onion, finally. But let me tell you, the onion takes longer to cook, so the garlic should have gone after the onion. Salt. Stir, then let that saute until the onion has begun to turn translucent. Then add two teaspoons or four grams of fennel seed powder and any other spices if you want them, although not necessary. Maybe some red pepper flakes. Oh, wow, wow, wow. A little spicy. Yeah, I like those flavors, very nice. That spicy flavor, yeah? Stir that together and saute till- And when you get those dry flavors, it's cheap. It's possible to make a cheap lasagna. Fragrant, about 30 seconds. Then add one six ounce can of tomato paste. Stir and let that cook until it begins to caramelize and stick to the oh. bottom of the pan, about oh. another minute. Then add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Stir that in and then add your meaty man back. Stir again, there's a lot of stirring here. And let that simmer and reduce for five to seven minutes or until slightly thickened. Season- you Guys, I have to say, the sauce looks fantastic. You didn't put the vinegar. You didn't put a weird watch style on Katsuyama sauce. This looks beautiful. Well done, Joshua. Well done for not watching Gordon Ramsay Ragu. No, 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 no. Well done. And a taste with salt and pepper, and that is your saucy little guy. Bellissimo. Next, in a medium. Bellissimo, easy. Is that ricotta? We'll add 15 ounces or 425 grams of ricotta. So many Americans use ricotta. I don't know where this ricotta thing came from. Yes, some parts of Italy use ricotta in the lasagna. Yes, I like it. But, you know, you're looking at buying ricotta. What is that? For that little thing, probably you pay, what, $2, $3? You're looking at an extra expense in this case for ricotta that you don't really need you can make bechamel sauce a lot cheaper and just mix it with mozzarella cheese you do not need that ricotta flavor in the lasagna you don't which for those of you who don't use ricotta frequently and by the way what are you doing if you're not that is typically excuse me why what do you mean what are you doing you use bechamel sauce you use mozzarella you can use provolone pecorino cheese or parmigiano cheese that's enough that ricotta it gives a little bit of a a weird kick, I have to say. Hey, I do like lasagna with ricotta. It's a bit weird, that kick that you get from the ricotta, okay? It's gonna be a whole regular sized tub, usually. Season that lightly with salt and pepper, optionally some olive oil, but that's expensive, so don't do that. I'm <laughs> it is. Just being a silly man here. Then add in one whole egg and whisk all that together until smooth and homogenous. Now we're almost- Yeah, yeah, see what you just did there? Bechamel, please, bechamel. This to be good at all. Always nearly as salty as the ocean, homies. Now for the cheese, just mix together eight ounces or 225 grams. Oh, he's using dry mozzarella and he shaved it, grated, it. fantastic. Do not buy fake plastic shredded mozzarella, please. Of grated mozzarella, bellissimo, you can get a bellissimo. cheap block for about $2 and just Oh, wow, $2 in America. Wow, in, extra, in Australia, you're looking at seven, eight dollars for a small block. Great, the whole thing. Then mix that with a third cup or 80 grams of Parmesan cheese. Now, Parmigiano. Hear me out. Parmigiano Reggiano. Bravo. Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> Bravo. Is the best option. Like that pronunciation, by the way, Italians. Can we get a, can we get a rating, please? Yay, well done. <laughs> Fantastic. Pronunciation Parmigiano Reggiano. That, wow, that's got a absolute unit out of ten. So <laughs> I'll take that. Anyway, that's the most expensive option, but you should choose a cheese that's like Parmigiano or one of the, you know, Parmesan cheeses. I'm not going. 
Parmesan, that's just Parmesan, it just doesn't sound good. I mean, it sounds French, but why would you make a French? And French got beautiful cheeses that don't want to have a, a cheese called Parmesan. It sounds cheap. How much are you saving? Huh? Just buy a Parmigiano, huh? please, do yourself a flavor. I to recommend that, but that is the cheaper option and it costs this much, so. At least he's honest. I don't control the market price of Parmigiano, okay? But I wish I did. Call me the Parmigiano Kingpin. <laughs> Assembly. <laughs> I wish you were the Parmigiano kingpin. <laughs> it is ridiculously easy, and people wow. get tripped up about it for no reason at all. Normally, I don't put cheese on top of my lasagna, even though I've done it in the past. Still do it sometimes, but this looks good. And I like the way the crust is burned. That's beautiful. Here's all you need to know. First, put one cup of sauce at the bottom of a 9 by 13 baking dish. Spread it edge to edge. From there, add two to three... Sh the reason why you put the sauce at the bottom is so it doesn't get stuck. Because the pasta can get stuck. You don't want to lose that bottom layer, you know? Uh, probably put too much sauce, but it's all right. Sheets of lasagna, depending on their width, so that it also goes edge to edge, such as this. Add a it, it is important to, have, uh, to close every gap. You don't want gaps in between the lasagna. So, yeah, we did a good job. On a third of your ricotta mixture, spread it out, followed by a third of... Imagine you had bechamel sauce there. And what I would recommend to do first is to actually put the sauce on top of the pasta so that pasta is covered, and then it's easier to spread all the ingredients. But that's what you want to do, that's what you do. For your cheese mixture, then next up, another cup of sauce. Spread that brother out, two to three more lasagna sheets, the next third of your ricotta mixture, the next third of your cheese, another layer of sauce, more lasagna sheets, your remaining ricotta, and this time, another ladle, which should be a glass ladle of your sauce. Okay. Then finish with the rest of your cheese. If you want or need more cheese, feel free to add it, but it's gonna cost you extra, son. Then add some... <laughs> Come on, don't be a that ass. Some greased foil on top of your baking tray, dish, whatever the hell they're called. Wrap it tightly and pop it into an oven preheated to 3 75 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes, then uncover it and cook an additional 30 to 35 minutes. Oh, wow, that's why you get that crust. I normally do 10 minutes uncovered and I get that beautiful crust. 30 minutes, that's what you get. I have to try next time. The only thing is I don't put cheese on mine. So basically 10 minutes is enough because if I don't put the cheese and I do for 30 minutes, I think I'm gonna make it too dry on top, which is not what I really want. But this looks fantastic, Joshua. Until stunning, bubbly patches of deep brown cheese Bellissimo. with craggly edges emerge. I mean, look at this. This Bellissimo. is a proper lasagna. This little... I agree, this is a proper lasagna and it's cheap and it's... It looks to me, it looks like a $25 per slice of lasagna. It's just beautiful. Crispy bits on the edge will have you wetting your pants while yodeling on a mountaintop. Don't ask me why. Now just... <laughs> no questions asked. Let that rest for 15 minutes to cool slightly, then using a sharp knife, cut into 12 evenly sized square pieces, bellissimo. pop it on a plate, and let's see. Bellissimo, bellissimo. I can see that ricotta in there, which I don't really love it, but it's bellissimo. This is lasagna, it's beautiful. Joshua did it, and he did it for one dollar per person. Something I will never be able to do because I can't help myself. I have to use that pecorino. I have to use the top quality meat. I have to use the top quality fresh pasta. I have to use the top quality sauce, carrot, celery, onion. But you did it for one dollar. And if I didn't know what's inside, I would look at this, I would eat it, taste it, I would say, wow, it's fantastic. I just can't help myself. What is the pecorino? What is the carrot? See if we just made the most darn delicious and simple wow. lasagnas for this price per person right here. And normally I always say the edge normally doesn't look as pretty. Normally I cut the middle part when I take photos and stuff like that. But this, this edge, this corner, it's just beautiful the way it is. It's just perfect. Joshua, let me tell you one thing. Your channel is incredible. You deserve so many subscribers. What have you got? Four, five million? You deserve every single one of them because you are a legend, because you are incredible, because you are funny, because you know how to cook. And this is an inspiration for many people that say, I don't have money. I don't want to spend this much. I only want to spend one dollar. This, this is an example that it's all here. You can spend less than twenty dollars to make this it's all in here and joshua just showed you if you want to save money you want to use cheaper ingredients you can still make a fantastic lasagna before we even begin talking about the price which is this right here very nice let's talk about the can you believe it listen carefully all right it just looks beautiful i can cut it and still what's that crispy sound in the lasagna how crispy is it Huh? What have you done? This is great. It's not right for a normal lasagna, but it is great because you made it. Layer. You can enjoy it as it's meant to be. 
and it was meant to be absolutely awesome. Noodles cook perfectly. It still has Oh, don't say noodles, please, Joshua. Don't be like these other people. It's not a noodle. It's just, it's just pasta shit. It's pasta. It's pasta. Just say pasta. Body. It still has texture to it. You've got each individual noodle. Bellissimo. Your teeth crash. Bellissimo, Joshua. Bellissimo. Fruit. Every layer. Into the cheese. The meat. The caramelized tomato sauce. I mean, this is better. I'm so proud you didn't put Winchester, 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 I don't know how you say it, Winchester sauce. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Nobody really knows how I to pronounce know. it. Oh, vinegar in that meat. Well done. Than any average lasagna, and yet it is less expensive than most lasagna. That ain't Where did you learn this from? Lasagna. But cheaper, I don't know what the gosh darn heck is. You get out there and you make a lasagna, because it's not. Angora lasagna. Pasta is enough. So we made our lasagna, and it turned out. Oh, he said lasagna. Lasagna. <laughs> he knows how to say lasagna. And cheap as a lasagna is gonna get. What, are you gonna go to the frozen aisle and go get your frozen lasagna? Uh, no, no, no. Don't do that, please. Do not do it. All come from here. You wanna stay healthy. You decide from here. You wanna eat delicious food from here. You don't use this. You buy the frozen one from the cheap supermarket. Reheat it. Oh yeah. Mm. Don't you love pasta sauce that tastes identical to ketchup? Mm. That's that's the right sound. Mm -hmm. oh, I love you, Joshua. I want to invite you to my channel. I want to do a video with you, Joshua. Please invite me to your house. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you. We will. And do the same for my video, please. Subscribe, leave a comment below, and share your love. We're here to learn. We're here to have fun. We're here to, to, to share happiness. And Joshua, he does that. He shares happiness. Great recipes. But he just doesn't know how to say lasagna. He says lasagna. Lasagna. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I love you all. It's always fun to do these reaction videos and learn together. I will be in Italy very soon, and I cannot wait to make lasagna with Nonna. And we don't look at costs, because when Nonna is involved, it's homemade that is best, and we use the best ingredients that we can get on the market. But also, when you buy, be smart, okay? Be smart, okay? Be smart. That's all I need to say. Thank you, and see you in the next video.